Hey guys, so today I thought I might talk to you a little bit about gaming on Linux. Now this is going to be one of those vlog style videos that you'll often see on this channel where I sort of meander and digress and uh, and don't get to the point fast enough for a lot of people. So if, if that's not really your kind of style of video, then uh, feel free to check out some others on this channel. Um, but from time to time, I just like to have a bit of a conversation with you guys. So feel free to to leave your comments as the video goes on. Um, and I, uh, and I, I try, I read them all, especially on these kind of vlog videos, because, uh, that's where the most interesting comments are often left. So, um, gaming on Linux. Well, this video is actually inspired by, uh, another, uh, Linux YouTuber, Hey DSL, brought out a video on the 10th of January, talking about, uh, hardcore gamers and using Linux as the gaming platform. Uh, the, that video was actually inspired by a Reddit post or a Reddit question rather, which basically was, I, I'm a hardcore gamer, why should I use Linux? And uh, Hey DSL sort of goes on to answer the question and raises some some really, really good points. So it's definitely worth checking out that video. I will, of course, link to it down in the description below. But I'd like, sort of like to uh, to throw in my perspective because it's, uh, it's an interesting topic to talk about. Uh, I got rid of my Windows partition a couple of years ago now um, and haven't regretted it, but I did have a Windows partition. I did dual boot. Um, but then when I kind of got bored of the AAA games that I was playing um, and I kind of sort of broadened my horizons and I started looking specifically for Linux supported games and the Linux side of my, my gaming library started, boot, you know, sort of bolstering up, uh, I, I, I just ended up making the jump. But I don't think really I'm a hardcore gamer. There are some games that I'm like really quite good at, but there aren't any like AAA franchises that that I'm I'm attached to, that I'm married to, that that I would be upset if I couldn't play. Um, I, I you know I, I I play whatever games sort of come out. I tend to to go more on the indie side of games now as I get older. I tend to like games maybe a little bit simpler, maybe. Uh, a little bit like, uh, you know, I, I, as I often say in game reviews, I often quite like a game where they, they, they take a mechanic and they they sort of build a game around a, a single sort of well-built um, mechanic. And, and I kind of like that. Um, so, uh, so, so I wouldn't call myself a hardcore core gamer, but if I was... I I don't think you can say that, uh, that that Linux is the platform for hardcore gamers, at least not yet. Um, and I don't think I would recommend... Uh, Linux as a as a gaming platform for as, as for a hardcore gamer, unless you cared specifically about the Linux platform or open source software in general. Uh, there are like the uh, the availability of open source games on Linux is is better than Windows uh, because the open source community is so much more vibrant on 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 the Linux side of things. Um, and you could probably you know like I don't know how many games. You know, it, a lot of a lot of the question raised is is how many games do you want, uh, or what kind of games do you want as well? Like, um, if there are there are several thousand games currently available for Linux through Steam, so even if you started playing through that entire list of thousands upon thousands of games, you 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 know you you're, you're not going to run out of games. However, it is lacking certainly in in AAA titles, um, and especially in the variety of AAA titles as well. It's certainly getting better, and it's certainly a lot better than it used to be, but. If you're a hardcore gamer, it is probably not going to satisfy you. It is also worth bearing in mind that uh, when games are brought out for Windows, they're often like tweaked to work with specific hardware or even specific drivers. And NVIDIA often bring out specific drivers on Windows for specific uh, games, like Counter-Strike and the like. Um, so that kind of fine tuning is not done on the Linux uh, side of, of things. So whenever you're playing a game, you're probably going to get a, you know a few more frames per second on uh, the window if you run it on Windows than if you run it on Linux, even if you do it on the same hardware. So if you are a you know if you if you if you're a junkie for performance as well, you may want to consider dual booting rather than than actually using uh, Linux for gaming on its own. Now I. I choose Linux overall for a number of reasons. I do like open source software and I do like supporting open source software. But it's uh, but with me, I have pretty much zero formal training in, in IT. I've got like a GCSE for those of you that know what that is. Um, and a C in GCSE as well. Uh, and I'll maybe tell that story sometime how I've got such crappy grades in IT at school. But beyond beyond that, uh, I do not have any, any official qualifications. So I'm pretty much 100% or at least 99% self-taught. And um, and uh, and I would not have been able to teach myself nowhere near as much about computers if I didn't have access to the software that the open source community and Linux provided. If I was stuck using shareware and freeware pieces of software, I would have um, 
well, I mean, you know, it 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 it's so limiting, and it, it probably isn't going to give you that much of a hands-on education anyway. So, um, you know, it was nice to have full, proper, professional-grade software available for me to learn on without me having to dish out hundreds and thousands of pounds, especially not coming from a particularly wealthy background. And being a student when I was learning Linux at the time as well made that made things even more uh, even even you know even more difficult in terms of money. So. I owe, I owe Linux a massive debt um, in that regard. So I, I, I do like to support software from, from, from that standpoint. And I'm incredibly attached to the ideology of open source software and Linux and the politics behind it as well. You know, I live for that kind of stuff. So, so, um, so even as like an involved gamer, as an enthusiastic gamer, I'm going to be choosing Linux. But it is because of what Linux is, not because of what the games are on Linux. That's that's sort of the important distinction. If you if you are enthusiastic about the operating system, but not about you know, or, or but less about the games, or less fussy about the games, then you know Linux is a, a perfectly viable avenue. But if you are you know games, 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 you know, and 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 all you care about is the pragmatism of it, uh, Windows is you know Windows is it is better. And um, and if you've got hundreds of pounds to spend on software editing software uh, on video editing software, it probably is still better at video editing. But the guys down at Caden Live are doing, you know, they're catching up at a heck of a speed. Those guys are absolutely fantastic. And even though it may not necessarily be the most stable video editing software available, uh, and it does tend to crash quite a lot on me, um, it's in it's incredibly feature rich. It's not that bad in terms of crashing. I don't know. It it gets it's it's gotten better over the years. Um, and there are you know and 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 from time to time they will just do a bug fix release. So, um, so there's that. But um, but yeah, like uh, it's it's not going to be competing with the professional grade tools at, the, at this stage. But you know, it will. It may do one day. It may do one day. And 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 what it's currently got is good enough for me right now. And that's a lot of you know that's a lot of it. Like what I've got and what Linux is, it's good enough for me. It 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 um, if you know it 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 fulfills what I need it to do, uh, which is great. And um, and if it doesn't, then then you should use something else. But uh, but uh, yeah, I I you know I I I use Linux because I prefer because I prefer how it's made. I prefer what it stands for, and I you know and 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 I prefer it from a pragmatic and and, and utilitarian stance. As well, but my circumstances are but one of over seven billion, and um, and there are going to be people that need their computer to do different things for different reasons, and um, you know if you know like for, for example um, there are you know I expect there are there are many cases where the BSD distributions are significantly you know where they can uh, outperform Linux. Um, I would imagine that's probably more on things like server side and security and that kind of stuff, but um, you know it's like it's. Uh, Everything's got its place, isn't it? I guess. Um, but that being said, you know, I, you know, I, you know, it's it's for, for me. I I choose to to use Linux for for a multitude of reasons, and if those reasons are not the same as yours, then that is completely fine. Um, I would, you know, I I I do like to see Linux as a competitor in the race, and I do like to see Linux, you know, I I I do like to see Linux do well against Windows. Um, but I only want to see it do well against Windows if it's a fair competition, if it's actually beating. Not with any kind of, you know, I, I don't want to sell it as a, you know, I, I don't want to sell it as something it's not. Which, incidentally, is actually an advantage that, that Microsoft and Windows can do um, because they uh, they have that profit incentive and marketing departments and so forth. So, interesting there. So, anyway, I'm going to wrap it up there. Uh, let me know your thoughts on how far gaming on Linux has come. But I've got to say... Uh, the Steam client, I, I actually, you know, I really quite like it, and I like how uh, how well supported it is. I, I like the Itch.io client, plenty of games available, and that's an open source Electron app, and it's a really well made one at that as well. GOG, yeah, well, you know, they 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 release some games for Linux, or not not them personally. These are obviously platforms. Uh, they do allow their uh, developers to release games for Linux, but they haven't released their client for Linux yet, and it doesn't seem like they particularly care too much about it. Linux to them is just like a provision or or an, an additional um that being said though gog is great for windows games that you want to get running on wine uh and they also fit nicely into uh play on linux as well you can have a separate instance for a separate uh, gog game and since you don't have to you know reinstall a, a steam client or whatever uh it makes things quite easy so yeah let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below it's always fun to uh to, to read your comments on vloggy type of videos um but that's about it from me today thank you very much for watching and until next time i've been chris ware and you've been awesome take care now